When opening Camtasia, it initially invites us to create a new project, make a new recording or open an existing project. When we enter Camtasia, we have a screen like the one we see now. In it, we can see four main parts. On the left is a tools area where we can access the different features offered by Camtasia from being able to use different types of multimedia resources to including different effects in our films. In the centre is a video area where we can visualise the video we are creating. On the right is a properties area where each element included in our film of whatever type, be it text, audio, figures etc. can be set up independently. And below, the timeline where we define the properties of the different elements of the film as well as its position in depth, since the elements that are higher in the timeline cover those which are below. At the top left there is a button to start recording and to the right a button to share the recording. When starting a project the first thing is to set up the project properties, which we access from the top of the screen. We will mainly configure the dimension of our video. In general we recommend 720p HD since, being high definition, it allows us to reduce somewhat the size of the file that we will finally export. We can also decide what the background colour of our film will be. This will be defined by the elements we use and the visual effects we want to convey. In the Media tab, we have access to all the multimedia resources that we have included in the project. We can use them by dragging them to the video area or to the timeline. With any object on the screen, you can configure its properties, rotate it, resize or change the opacity. In the Annotations tab, we're able to add text, arrows, shapes, highlights or free-stroke writing. We can change the size, the font, the colour and also the properties of the boxes in which the text is contained. We can also create arrows and various shapes and, as with all objects we include, we can change their properties. We also have the option to create highlights in order to highlight specific areas of the screen or text. In transitions we find different options to configure how objects appear and disappear in the film. 
the most common can be fade to make something appear or disappear. One recommendation for making transitions between sequential objects look softer is to overlap those objects for the duration of the transition. The transitions are therefore placed at the beginning and at the end of the objects and affect how they appear and disappear. Behaviours are effects that can affect the objects in the appearance, disappearance or even during their presence in the film. They are usually movements of some kind. In properties, we can specify for each behaviour the input, the output and also the behaviour whilst it's on the screen. Animations are probably the most powerful tool Camtasia has. An animation affects a specific object and looks like a triangle in the timeline of that object. The duration of the animation can be lengthened, which will mean a longer arrow, and the animation will be slower. We can change the properties of the object behind the arrow and Camtasia will bring the object from the properties it has before the animation to those that we have configured later. This can mean changes to place, size, opacity, rotations or any property that we can change in the object. When making a recording, Camtasia saves the movements of the mouse and the clicks that we do with both mouse buttons. These click movements can be seen in our film. This functionality can be very useful when making tutorials about the use of software tools or web navigation. There are several options for audio effects. The most popular might be to eliminate noise in order to clean the soundtrack recorded. But there are also others such as volume levelling or changing the speed. When we select the sound we see a green line which marks the volume of the sound. Clicking twice on that line, green points will appear. They will allow us to adjust the sound volume and personalise it. There are several visual effects that we can add to our film. Change the colours, use black and white or sepia, or even remove a colour. For example, if we record with a green background, we can eliminate it and see what's below in the timeline. Although we can record audios, it's also possible to add a voice narration to a specific point in our film. Finally, Camtasia offers us the option of making recordings where we can simultaneously include, firstly, the computer screen, or a specific area of this, which will be marked with a green triangle, secondly, our image, being able to select between the different cameras that we have, and thirdly, audio, being able to select between the different microphones the computer has. Once we've finished our editing, we can export it to a local file. The most usual is to export it in the MP4 format. We'll have a file with the Camtasia project, which we can edit again and an mp4 video file that we can share or upload to services like YouTube.